Editing. Bruh. Editing faster. Oh Macros. At Doubling your edit speed. It's, it's all around us. Some are lies, some are true, some are even fairy tales. <laughs> but not anymore. Do you want to edit like this? Come on, come on, hi, baby. Sneaker meetup. Let's see, we bought a finesse. Baba boy. Do you suck, Travis Scott Burgers, at editing? I like it, Kaji. Cheers! Oh, calm down, y'all. Don't block the line. They're trying to be crazy. You're bad at editing, right? Eating animals wrong, McDonald's. I know you're obsessed with them. I love Pakistan, I don't sacrifice my life! Well, not anymore. You will be five times faster at editing than you were before. Faster than a macro cheater, and with absolutely no macros. Coochie man. Yo, what is up, boys? In today's video, I've taken every single yeah, tip, bruh. trick, and setting I could possibly find and put it all in one video as the ultimate way to make you a faster editor on Fortnite. This isn't just for Xbox, this isn't just for PS4, this isn't just for Switch, and this isn't just for PC. It's for everything! Xbox, Xbox X, Xbox S, PS4, PS5, Switch, Switch Mini, PC, and more. So I would watch all the way through and make sure that you don't miss out on anything. But real quick, boys, before we get into the video, I'm gonna need you guys to like and subscribe when Odie's on in the next 3.2 seconds, or else nothing will happen. It just helps me out a lot, so please do it, and I love you guys. But no more talking, let's get right into the video. All right, boys, we hopped into creative, and I'm going to be showing you all these tips and tricks I've been talking about. What I've done is I've compiled every single tip, trick, and setting, and put it all in this video to make you a faster editor. And don't worry, because this works on everything. This will work for you on Xbox, PS4, Switch, PC, the new PS5, the new Xbox X, and Xbox S. It'll basically work on everything, so don't worry about that. But yeah, let me quickly show you a before and after so you understand how fast this is going to make you. So this is me editing before using all these tricks. And this is me after using all these tricks. So as you saw right there, this will make you a lot more faster editing. So take my word for it. This will help you a lot. And I'm not baiting you guys at all. This is actually going to help. But yeah, without any more distractions, let's get into tip slash trick slash setting number one. All right, boys, so hopping into tip number one, this is actually going to be to do pyramid edits. Now, what are pyramid edits? These are basically acceleration practices. And what these acceleration practices do is actually make you a lot more consistent at the game. And why is consistency important? Well, we'll get into that later. But let me show you what these are. So all you're going to want to do on these is, of course, edit and reset. Edit, edit, reset, reset. Edit, edit, reset, reset. And you want to go from slow to fast because you want to make sure that you don't mess up at all. The second you mess up, you have to start over. The goal here is to do this as fast as possible without messing up once. So start off slow. And the more consistent you feel like you're getting, go faster. Now, if you've noticed, I have two different ones. This one is a single one, so it's a little bit easier for most people. And this one over here is a little bit more complex, but will help you a lot more. So it's generally the same idea, same concept. You're going to edit, 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 reset, 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 reset. And you're just going to keep doing that without trying to mess up once. So you always want to start off slow, and then you want to try to become faster without messing up. But yeah, that's basically going to conclude tip number one and what that does. But let's get into tip number two. So for tip number two, this is actually going to be to turn off replays. All you have to do is go into your settings, of course, go to the game, and then go all the way down till you see record replays. All you're going to want to do is turn each and one, every one of these off. Now, I keep them on because I need them on to record content and get gameplay and because I just like having them on. But if you don't care about going into replays and you never use them, turn them off. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is that? Well, because when you have replays on, you're actually recording each and every game you're going into, putting more stress on your actual game. And the less stress you have on your game, the more frames you'll get, the less delay you'll get, and it's just going to make your gameplay a lot better. And what's part of gameplay? Editing. Yes, this will actually make your editing feel a lot smoother and feel a lot more consistent without any delay. But yeah, that's basically tip number two. A short one, but simple. But yeah, now moving into tip number three, this is actually going to be consistency. Now, I did refer to consistency in tip number one, and now we're actually going to be talking about it. Now, why is consistency so important, and why am I bringing it up so much? Well, because consistency when it comes to editing is crucial and important. The more consistent you are, the less you'll mess up. The less you'll mess up, the better you'll become. The better you'll become, the faster you'll become. The long story short, you want to have good consistency when it comes to editing. Otherwise, there's no point in being a fast editor because it's just not going to be possible. That's why you see people like Not Look and Rift never messing up because they're very consistent and they work on their editing skills a lot. So long story short, just be consistent. The pyramid edits that I've showed earlier in tip number one are perfect ways to stay consistent. But trust me, consistency is important. You do not want to mess up on it. But yeah, that's basically tip number three. And let's just get into tip number four. So for tip number four, this is actually going to be having fake edit on release. What is fake edit on release? Basically, all you're going to want to do is go into your settings, 
go to the game and make sure that you have edit on release on. Now, I personally do not use edit on release. I hit my confirm button because I feel as if it's better. So why do I use edit on release? Well, let me explain. When I have edit on release on, I'm still pressing my confirm button. I'm not going to put a wall down, then press edit and press select and then release like confirm edit on release does. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm actually doing is I'm pressing edit, select, and then pressing my confirm button and releasing at the same time. So it's giving off the effect that I don't actually have it on. Why is it useful to have on? When I actually have it on and I mess up an edit, let's say I forget to press confirm or I just mess up an edit, that's one less button I need to worry about pressing. So I mess up an edit or something, but hey, edit on release is there. So just in case, boom, I don't need to press confirm and it does it for me. And this will help your consistency a lot because whenever you do mess up, edit on release is there for you. So you don't need to worry. So if you're a player that doesn't use edit on release, be sure to turn it on because doing so will make sure that your consistency will become a lot better. And I'm even using it and i don't really play out on release but yeah that's basically tip number four now moving on to tip number five this is actually going to be a very big one so as you all know fortnite geforce and ps5 all implemented their new graphics for the game now these graphics are beautiful but they will make your game a lot more delayed so that's why i'm going to be explaining how to fix that so first let me explain it for pc so if you did update your drivers on pc to the new geforce drivers that's not a problem you will also notice that you're going to go into your settings you're going to scroll down in the video option and you're going to see that ray tracing is an option you're also going to notice that dlss latency flash and all these new features are on too all you're gonna want to do in this new update is make sure that you have ray tracing off all these are off or at least blacked out because ray tracing is off make sure you have dlss off completely and make sure that you have all these features off completely as well because these will make your game perform a lot slower now let's say you have a really really high-end pc and you still can have a really good game performance with these on by all means turn it on because it will make your game look better but if you want performance over quality then be sure to have all these off and for people who haven't switched to dx12 yet do it because it's really important right now i didn't use dx12 until now the reason being is because after this update dx11 the frames are just terrible but the second i switch to dx12 my frames are going through the roof so trusty turn dx12 on just make sure you have one of the newer graphics cards or else it won't perform well but yeah that's pretty much it now moving on to console i can't really say what to do yet because the ps5 hasn't released yet and there's no option to turn off the graphics once the ps5 releases and maybe it's even on ps4 or on the new xbox all you're gonna want to do is go to your settings go to the video option which should be the first option and make sure that if you have any new features here that they're all off having them all off will make your game perform a lot better especially with the better hardware that's coming out but yeah that's basically tip number five one of the most important ones so take a note of that now moving into tip number six since we were just talking about all the new graphics in the game let's talk about even more graphics hop into your settings and make sure that you have all of these graphics quality on low or off i personally have my view distance far because i like seeing things far but that's just a preference as you can see i have everything else off so yeah make sure you have everything off this will make your game perform a lot better that's pretty much a tip but yeah i'm moving into tip number seven for tip number seven it's gonna work for both console and pc all you're gonna want to do is hop once again into your settings and go over to the controller options all you're gonna want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom until you see foot controller. You're gonna wanna turn foot controller on. Once you turn it on, make sure you have foot controller dead zone on 1% and foot controller max throttle on 1% as well. No one knows why, but having foot controller on will just make your game feel a lot better. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. But yeah, that's basically tip number seven. Now moving into the last tip I have for you guys. This is going to be tip number eight. Now tip number eight is going to be boost practices. Now don't get these confused with acceleration practices because they're two different things. Let me show you what an acceleration practice is once again. So an acceleration practice is going from slow to high. But that's not what a boost practice is. Let me show you what that is. A boost practice is going really fast, then stopping, then going really fast again. So let me show you what that looks like. As you saw there, I'm going really fast with the edit, then taking a break, then going really fast and taking a break. I'm basically stopping in between really fast edits. So let me show you that once more. But yeah, that's basically what it is. And yes, boost practices are another way to help you with your consistency when it comes to editing. Don't forget to try every one of these tips if you have the option to, whether you're PC or console, because they all help a lot. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the tips, and that's going to conclude the video for today. But yeah, boys, that's basically going to conclude the video for today, and I hope you did enjoy it. Remember, if you are new around here, subscribe with Nodi's on, because I do these videos a lot to help you guys. And if you're new around here, I would really much appreciate a sub, so please subscribe. Also, drop a like, because the more likes that this video has, the more people that it will get shown to, and that I can help even more people out with these tricks. But yeah, also don't forget to comment the word Safari if you made it all the way to this part of the video. That way, I know you stuck all the way through. Also, guys, this was a finale to my editing series, but if you do want another one, let's get 10,000 likes, and I'll do a part four. But yeah, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. I'll catch you the next time, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.